this is Teacher Maria for School of SFB. I'd like to say a few words about the human head structure and I will draw it from the front, side and three quarters view. When someone's looking straight at you, irises will be right in the middle of the head horizontally and then you can break the face in three equal parts. One will be forehead, the second one from the eyebrow to the tip of the nose, same as the size of the ear and the last one from the tip of the nose to the chin. There's a space of an eye between the two eyes and the bottom of your nose is that size exactly. Eyes look like crown balls and they sit in special dips that protect them. Uh, they're called eye sockets and they look like diamonds but slightly tilted, more like your eyeglasses. And eyeglasses are actually made in shape of eye sockets. The shape of a head is based on the shape of a skull, so I will start my drawing from Your it. profile line becomes a vertical line of symmetry for a front view. It's tempting to make the same but slightly curvy line in three-quarter view. Then in profile your face will look like this. Ew, wrong. So please remember in three quarters it looks like a slightly flattened profile line. Remember to adjust it. Uh, when you draw an eye, remember it's a sphere, right? There is a round iris in the middle and a perfectly round pupil in the middle of the iris. Uh, from the side you can see a cornea, a transparent lens on top of the iris that has a highlight, very bright, but on the same side iris has a shadow. Why? Because the iris itself looks like a bow. Top eyelid is normally covering top of your iris. Bottom is sitting on the bottom eyelid. Outer corner of the eye in most cases is slightly higher than the inner one, but sometimes it is aligned or even lower. A wrinkle over your eyelid can be almost aligned with your eyelid, can be starting from the middle or all the way over the eyelid. Eyelids and eyelashes drop a shadow on your eye, plus it is a round shape, so there should be some shading on it too. Remember that only a highlight on your eye is actually white, the rest is darker. Eyelashes mostly grow on the outer part of your eyelids, top eyelashes are longer. Top and bottom eyelids also sit on a round shape and should be shaded accordingly. The eyebrow starts inside your eye socket and curves out to the outside. Here I'm adding the eyelids to all three of my faces. And let's talk about the nose. Most of it is made of a soft cartilage and made of a central part, tip of the nose and the two nostrils. Nostrils start in the middle of the nose in profile, they are higher than the tip of the nose and they look like two additional uh, parts of an umbrella that, that are sitting on uh, both sides from the tip. When you draw the lips, think about the Golden Gate Bridge shape. You slightly go up the bridge, then it hangs between the two poles, then you go down the bridge and it reflects in the water. You see two smoother and rounder curves on the bottom lip. Lips are not flat, each part is like a flattened cylinder and since the light is normally coming from above, your top lip is normally in shadow and the core shadow is seen very well on it. There is a slope from the forehead to the tip of the nose and the reverse slope from the tip of the nose to the chin. Remember the simple rule, it will help you draw faces better. Lips are sitting on a pyramid-like shape, don't forget to shade it along with the lips. The neck starts from the back of the head and it ends higher on the back than in front. Then your necklace you wear will repeat this angle. Neck is tilting slightly forward. In front it is defined by the collarbones and by the ridges of shoulder blades on the back. Two diagonal muscles start behind the ears and meet in front uh, where your collarbones meet your chest bone. There is a dip there. Between them there is a trachea, an upside down pyramid. Each shoulder is about the size of a head put on the side. The ear shape can be broken down into mom question mark and a baby question mark sitting on mom's lap, reaching to mom with one arm. Plus, there is a little bump that connects your ear with the back of the cheek. Now I start adding details like hair and start shading my person. Oh, by the way, a couple of tips on drawing heads from above and from the bottom point of view. The ear is lower than the nose, head is looking up. Ear is higher, head is looking down. 
Tip number two, imagine the head is sitting in a box and a lie in the front and side views with it. It really helps with complicated head positions. The rest of my work is just shading basic highlight light, core shadow and reflected light. Remember to find your core shadow and to always keep in mind if the light is coming from the side, from above, from the center. It will really help you make your head three-dimensional. It is made of the basic shapes like cylinders, blocks and spheres and you know how to shade them. For the rest of the video I will be just finalizing this drawing and you are welcome to watch me or start your own. Good luck!